Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I decree and declare if there is anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night, molesting you, whether as animals, as humans, male or female, I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I decree and declare, let that fire separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun and I decree and declare, let fire land on that lineage today. Lift your hands. While she pray. The altars of impotency. The altars of barrenness. The altars. Just keep your hands lifted. Of poverty. The altars of untold hardship. That have been programmed in lineage. In many lineages represented here. Right now I decree and declare. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy Amen. them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning remove the spirit in the body these entities are combinations of spirits and bodies there is a strategy for stopping their function I decree and declare in the name that is above all names that if there is any of those entities please listen I'm praying now I'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes that is not a pure human sent by darkness right now I cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. I cause a separation between their spirits Amen. and bodies I command the earth to open and swallow them Amen. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If there is anything that your family should have handled today I don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for God you should not be at that level now yes, but there is something programming your remaining there can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody in the name of Jesus tonight by this grace and unction I declare to you every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. therefore i prophesy to you beginning from tonight rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power 
hallelujah can i prophesy over your finances yes, sir. do you believe it <laughs> the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets don't mind this our arrogant generation that will not listen to the word are we together let me tell you something there is something called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god in the name of jesus i speak to you by this time tomorrow i'm saying it if you have the faith to receive i stand in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god by this time tomorrow may my god surprise you by this time tomorrow i prophesy to you i shift things i shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit i command strangers i seize their sleep may they bless you i instruct them i set it as an ordinance in the spirit in the name of jesus christ not by might it's not by power it's by the spirit listen you will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow some of you you will be minding yourself after the grace just walking home and before you reach home you are already crying for joy and saying what is this what is this listen if you can receive for your family i stretch my hands some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day but may my god give them a sign tonight may my god surprise them with a sign tonight a sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow may my god give them a sign tonight listen listen let me tell you something we're rounding up you see before you believe a man go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what happened the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth this seven days was designed to change us there must come a time in your life where God will shift you. If you don't shift, it's your fault. Oh, let me tell you this. Hallelujah. I'm praying over finances. We're rounding up already. I, I didn't plan to talk about this. But the lord just put it in my spirit it's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you are doing please this is not it's not a ritual we're not playing games here but i want to pray for people who can believe this man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of god the bible says let every man minister according to the measure of grace do you understand i can look at someone and say take 10 naira from my pocket this is me a man talk more the god of heaven but he's helpless until someone declares please just believe me once i beg you in the name of jesus this night just be you can insult me if it doesn't happen but just believe i want to pray again for your finances in the name of jesus christ i pray and i ask my god the God who has taken me by his grace the God who took this ministry by his grace I stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate of strange favor over your life 